the thing that I laughed at the most was uh, when they did that Monster Hunter movie, which there. Okay, I will say very briefly that the reason that movie is bad, you know, ignoring all of the like, oh, not accurate to video game, whatever. The main reason that movie is bad is that it commits the one sin no film should ever commit. Uh -huh. Is that because even even bad movies can be entertaining. This movie is boring as all shit because there's a lot of just nothing happening. Which shouldn't happen in a Monster no, Hunter movie it, at it, all. It, it oh can't God, hold your dude. attention because you're just sitting there with it's like, it's just Paul's wife and Tony Jaw just going through a big open desert, palling around and making him look stupid because, oh, he doesn't speak the English. Oh, it, oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and it's just, you're just wishing something would happen. Oh my god. Do you know how, bored to tears. Do you know how many moments of peace I've had in a Monster Hunter game? The only moments of peace I've ever had are back at the home base. You cannot take 10 steps in that game without it running into something that wants to turn you into its meal. Yeah. yeah. No, I played a little bit of Monster Hunter on the PSP. It doesn't fuck around. That's what the movie should have been, but it wasn't. And Paul doesn't... Paul legitimately didn't seem to understand what people didn't like about that movie. Of course he doesn't. When, he doesn't care. So no, like... I, okay, I, I don't want to like derail the conversation because you know me. I can go on a rant on how much I hate the Resident Evil movies, but uh huh. It, the basic story is is that he thinks he knows what he's doing, but he's but he doesn't. He's I will like, give Uwe Boll one thing over Paul W S Anderson. He didn't injure people, did he? No, but if no, he didn't. But if I challenge Uwe Boll to a fight. Uwe Boll's gonna square up and get in the damn boxing ring. I'm pretty sure if I challenged Paul W.S. Anderson to a fight, he'd come in thinking that he could fight me, I'd kick him in the shin once, and he'd start bitching to his wife, help me, help me, please God, help me. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're, not, you're not wrong. Like, Paul, Paul W.S. Anderson is like... He's like the Chris Chan of Hollywood. Like he thinks, oh. he, he thinks he makes these fucking masterpieces. Oh my god! But he's just a massive piece of shit. Oh like, yeah. my god, dude! Like, yikes! Does this look like the kind of guy who would actually like fight you? Like actually be able? Nah, damn it! My file's too powerful, and I don't have nitro. Ah! Uh, that's okay. That's okay. I have a litany of Paul W. S. Anderson faces. Does that look like the face of a man? Who would actually fight you? No. 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 Uh, now, on the other hand, Uwe Boll. <laughs> Uwe Boll is pretty muscular. Who did a Psych 101 class for his elective in community college and thinks he understands the world? No. Yeah. <laughs> he took he took a he took a one like a one semester course on macroeconomics and he thinks that he knows how the fucking economy From works. The University oh, of God. Phoenix. No. <laughs> actually, if you. Actually, if you look at the society we're living in right now, we are living under a tyrant. At least that what that's what it says in my diploma from the University of uh, Reddit. Yeah, <laughs> sure, Paul. The, the, he looks like he only receives oral and doesn't give it. Like... No, he, he he's looks, DC's he looks, like, He's DC's Batman. Oh, God. The oh, God. He's DC's Khaled. <laughs> the the last thing I'll say about Paul W. S. Anderson and the failure that was Monster Hunter, because the thing that I thought was the most hilarious was it's no secret that Hollywood panders to China because the money that they make from Chinese box office. Mm -hmm. Um The Monster Hunter, like it was one of those things, it's like, ah, oh, who cares if the West doesn't like it? If China likes it, they'll fucking eat it up and we'll make billions. Well, the movie got fucking banned in China because of one joke that's in like the first five minutes. Oh. And it's like, it why was this important, Paul? <laughs> why why was this important? And the joke in question is there's like some military guys and one of the military guys is Asian. And and again, I'm just repeating what's in the movie, so don't shoot the messenger. Um He's like Asian and he looks at it's, 
I think it's like one of the first fucking lines in the movie too. Oh, and no. actually, no, it's not. But it's like you cut to these military guys, and there's one of them is Asian, and he's looking at like one of the other military guys. He's like, "Hey, look at my knees. You know what these knees are? They're Chinese." And it's like, "Oh, why? Boo. Why this movie in the movie? Boo! Get off oh, the why? stage! Because of, that, because of that joke. You suck. Because oh. of that joke." China found it offensive, and it's like we're banning your movie. So it's like, oh great! So the movie, were, the 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 place where this was supposed to make money, you got it fucking banned. But Hollywood as a business isn't happy with you, Paul. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. how is this, how is he still directing? Bra- bra- not not defending Paul. Why can't they just cut the joke? They edit out things in movies when they send it to foreign countries all the time. Because it's I Paul mean, W. S. Anderson's vision, and as we've learned, nobody tells Paul W. S. Motherfucking so, Anderson what to do. Yeah, like, no, he thinks he knows what he's, Yeah, no, it's go ahead. It's funny you mentioned that because the subtitles for the Chinese release didn't have the joke translated. Ah, damn it. <laughs> but but they didn't do like a Chinese dub. They, so it's like, it's the normal English dub with Chinese subtitles and they didn't subtitle the joke, but they're not stupid. They know what they're saying still. <laughs> he's just, like, he's a coward. It's almost like English is a constantly taught secondary language in most developed <laughs> countries. Huh. Yeah. Who like I know that I know that Americans don't take the effort to learn a second language, but most other countries do. Uh, but oh, why? It's not even a good joke. Like that's no. a dad joke at best, and not even a dad joke. That's your drunk uncle at the barbecue jo- joke. Like why? I, I why? Why? Why you like this, Paul? Paul, why you gotta make bad movies? It's, it's, uh, no, it's like just... the vine with all the with the priest saying why a bunch of times, like why, why, why. why? I I'm thinking more of that scene from The Office. <laughs> no, I just, I just constantly quote the pastor from the vine, just going why. As as much as I would love to stay and shit on Paul W S Anderson some more, I'm gonna head out. Okay. Uh, y'all have oh. fun. Give this Ellie is... a fat kiss on the mouth. <laughs> oh, I've been doing that all day. I'll do it again. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that sounded uh, like such tell a... Her, do it again. Tell her pickles. I'll oh, fucking do it gosh. again. Tell her pickles. I, I, will, I will send pickle memes. This is not a bit. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> To give context, key, yeah, uh, I was in a, I was in a, I was in the chat of one of Dog Eye's streams, and they were apparently talking about pickles, and Ellie was like, "Oh, I hate pickles." It was in the chat, she was like, "Oh, I hate pickles." So I was like, "I'm a, I'm gonna spam fuck Golden Server with pickle memes." She was like, "Dude, you won't." I was like, "I, I wouldn't actually spam because I don't want to get banned." And then she was like, "Yeah, uh huh," and I was like, "Oh, okay." So I posted a Snickles meme, you know, the meme that has the pickles Snickers. Oh, gross. <laughs> Lost her shit. And was like, I thought you said you wouldn't do it. And I'm like, you've learned, you should know by now that I do things purely out of spite. Jesus. To put into context, she already, I'm already kind of a, a thorn in her side because, in her own words, she's never seen me without a meme for the situation <laughs> befitting. Because I. Since. The last BronyCon, I procured myself a 10 terabyte hard drive that I use exclusively for memes. Jesus. Damn. I, I, I need it. I, it was an impulse purchase. I got $700 as a bonus from work, and I was like, you know what? This seems like a res- reasonable purchase. I can name 15 other things that you could use that for that's not that. Oh, but gee, it's me! It's it's me! I know. I, I, do, I do it for the meme, guy! Come on now! I'm fully, I'm fully aware. I've got to uh, do how, it. How 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 are you doing in the game, Brett? Um, I think I may have missed something, and I've been trying to turn back multiple times, and uh, I think I may have screwed myself. I, well, I just hope that's I don't, not the case. 
I mean, normally uh, the game gives you a direction on where to go, and you have yet to explore uh, the area to see where the spot is. Uh, I probably laid in too much detail. Um, I like see. Metroidvania detail. Uh, I, I, I don't guess. know if that picture is wholesome, Riley, when you look at the bottom part of it. Yeah, Wait, no. There's a bottom part? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> now it's sad! Now it's sad! For, for context, it's an image of Spinel and Fry's dog from Futurama dancing, and then when you blow up the whole image, it shows the second form of Spinel and the almost close to death version of Fry's dog from Futurama just sitting on, uh, sitting on the curb sad merry christmas no poor puppy I know. there's a cake Hi. story cake story what magical star flash in chat said say, said so key can we hear about hear that cake story now oh cake story yeah um no the uh the thing was, is that uh, I'm making Brett a birthday cake, but I didn't make it on his actual birthday because his birthday was on a Tuesday. So I'm making it for him tomorrow. But the ah. but the but the thing was, he did have a little piece of cake when we went to the yard house that we had his birthday dinner at, which everyone was so full. And then we were, and then this guy, and then the waiter, cool dude, comes in with this little creme brulee cheesecake for his birthday. And apparently they must have, they must have a stencil that has the words happy birthday and they sprinkled chocolate powder or cocoa powder. So it spells happy birthday in cocoa powder. It was a, uh, it was very nice. Brett did eat the whole thing. I helped because he was so full. But when, when dessert is in front of you, you don't say Oh, but uh, it w it was it was great. But Brett got really mad at me because me and Lauren sang "Happy Birthday," and apparently he doesn't like that. <laughs> you know, people I singing "Happy apparently... Birthday." It's it... go ahead. Happy Birthday is a fun, happy song that shows appreciation. It's not cringe. You're cringe. <laughs> that was pretty cringe. That was a base to say right there. That was some cringe right there, friend. I'm not 